Welcome to another episode on the Home Tech Talk podcast. My name is Jake. And my name is Aiden. On this episode, we caught up with Gaspar, who is the Head of Sales and Operations at Nebula ANZ. Yeah, in this episode, we got to catch up with Gaspar and find out about Nebula's new Cosmos Laser 4K projector, and we've got to sit down here in our new home cinema and experience the projector firsthand. Looks a bit different, doesn't it? It's a new scene. New scene, new picture. And we hope you enjoy this episode. If you are liking our content, feel free to like and subscribe to keep up to date. Gaspar, welcome to the Home Tech Talk podcast. Thanks, Jake. Thanks for having me. No problems. Well, we are sitting in the experience that you guys have set up here, and it's pretty cool. Uh, it's good to hear that. How's everything? I hope you enjoy the uh, recliners that you're sitting in and uh, with all the, you know, brandy, snacks and free drinks. Most importantly, uh, the projector experience. Yeah. Yep. It's awesome. It's actually really comfortable. These chairs are probably rival my own little cinema at the office there. <laughs> Great. Great to hear. Great to hear. Yeah. We looked forward to seeing your projector on show today. So if you wanted to give our audience a bit of a background into yourself and how you entered the industry. Yeah, sure. Um, I think I'm still considering myself um, pretty new to the industry. So I've been around for roughly eight years now. Um, I started my career with a TV company, which is called uh, TCL. All right. As a marketing graduate back then. So um, I spent um, a little bit over four years with them, um, worked my way up to become the national digital marketing manager. Uh, and then this um, opportunity just um, presented itself. Roughly three years ago, um, I was counted to be the very first employee um, for the Anchor Innovations for Australian and New Zealand markets uh, to become the sales and operations manager. So um, it was a really uh, a lot of challenge back then um, that we need to work really hard with our distribution partner to figure out, okay, how we can establish our business in these markets. Uh, we're talking about a couple of home brands, including UFI Security, UFI Appliance, but most importantly, what we're talking about today, the Nebula Projectors. So um, after three years, I think uh, we are very happy to see where we are now. Uh, we made some progress into the key national retailers. We see our products being loved by, by the Aussies. Yeah, um, and also pretty much it's like from a one-man show to now we have our own team working both in the office and on the roads. Yeah, so I'm, I've been loving and enjoying every minute with, with this company. Awesome. And is the Nebula, the Cosmo that we're looking at today, is that the newest product from Nebula? Yes, uh, that's the most uh, recent launch that we um, offer to the market. Uh, I think we had a very successful crowdfunding um, activity earlier in the year. And uh, the product start landing in Australia in June, early June time. So yeah, it's the latest addition to the family. Okay, so it's very new to the market. It is. It is. Yes. Yeah, we're seeing quite a few of the the laser technology starting to trickle in to the projector scene. It's it's actually pretty exciting. It gives a great new opportunity for projector manufacturers. Yes, it is. Um, as you know, like uh, previous generations of projectors using LED lighting as the lighting source. But I think the trend is uh, the later powered uh, lighting source will become the next generation of the products. Things um, uh, the advantage that it has with in terms of the brightness it offers and also the lifespan it offers. So yeah, um, as a brand uh, from Nebula, I think we're going to see more and more later powered products in the future. Yeah, it's very energy efficient as well. I think that's one of the primary driving factors. I think some of your other models have battery powered and they they still are able to run. Yeah, yes. Um, so we're talking about Nebula products. Actually, we have like two major series. So uh, one series we call uh, Go Anywhere series, right? On the other hand, we have Around the Home series. So um, I think both series are very self-explanatory. So Go Anywhere series, uh, it includes our best-selling uh, Nebula capsule and Nebula Apollo models. So both models um, actually comes in, in a size that equivalent to a Coke can. So yeah, it still comes with really decent image quality, you know, uh, brightness um, and a smart system building as well. Give you access to the mainstream apps like Netflix and YouTube. On the other hand, uh, what you see today is uh, belongs to our Around the Home series, right? So if we take this Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K as an example, uh, it's edge cutting technology, including the laser powered 4K resolution, you know, HDR10, and also intelligent environment um, yeah, adaption, which gives you out of focus, 
um, Aldo Keystone, Aldo Screen Fix. Of course, it comes with the latest Android TV that gives you access to, you know, building Chromecast and also over 7,000 apps that cover music, content streaming, um, and games, etc. So yeah, it's really powerful. And do you see a trend moving towards people watching projectors over TVs? Uh, that's a, that's a very good question, uh, Jake. Um, I think TV still has its markets, you know, um, and people love that big screen experience, right? I think three, four years ago, we consider a 55 inch TV a big screen, but today I think people want 75 inch and more. Um, I think projectors can be a really good addition to that big screen uh, experience. I'm not talking about replacing, replacing the TVs, but maybe become the second screen or even a third screen for uh, a normal household, right? So it comes with its strengths, like it's really portable. You can um, take it anywhere, you know, um, among the rooms, in different rooms. And also you can just go out in the backyard, enjoy movie night. Uh, that's what a TV can give you uh, in terms of the uh, flexibility. They, they're really good in terms of their aesthetic too because you don't have to have the thing f- on the wall or taking up space. You can just bring it out when you require. And if it's easy to set up, that's one of the, the bigger issues with more of the installation type projectors. They are actually quite a process to set up and get right and get on the screen accurately and focus and do all the things that are required to get that image quality. Exactly. So if you look at the room that you're sitting in, right? So um, actually we purposely designed this room as a, uh, a regular size of uh, uh, home theater that you can have in a home, right? So I think for people uh, coming in, uh, who come in and experience the Cosmo later 4K, it will more convincing to let them aware that uh, to enjoying a big screen ex- experience, you don't necessarily need to have an 85 inch plus TV or a uh, regular conventional, you know, ceiling hand uh, projectors. So this can be another alternative for you to choose from. So one of the biggest things that helps the performance of these projectors is their brightness so that the new cosmos has got 2400 lumens which is definitely bright enough it is it is um and i think for the portable range of the uh, projectors we're normally seeing um a brightness um not over a thousand lumens for those compact size ones but for this one uh, as you can see uh, in this room right even we projected up to 150 inch it still gives you really decent brightness so it's a, it's a perfect option uh, for any households. That is the the most impactful thing about a projected image too, is that the brightness. I mean, people get used to these TVs that are so incredibly bright. So having a projector that can can almost compete in that regard is quite impressive. It is, it is. And actually, uh, more than that, as I just mentioned, uh, the HDR10 technology, uh, you know, so it gives you even better contrast, you know, so you see the black a lot more blacker and also white more wider. So... That's another advantage that this projector gives you as well. So that little media streamer that you've got built into this projector, does that handle all that HDR content without too much trouble? Is there what is there like a an Android streaming box built in or? Yeah, um, actually, it is not from us. So um, it is a request from uh, Google Android TV team. So it can't have this built into the device. It has to be installed as uh, like a separated uh, dongle sort of um, thing uh, to let the customer do it by themselves. So this little box gives you uh, the latest Android TV experience. Right. And does that allow for upgradability should the need arise to go and get a upgraded streaming box? Um, so I um, had chat with the R&D team. So every time we had that latest Android TV version um, available for upgrade, so they will work to, of course, localize that system to um, suitable to using the Nebula system. Uh, yes, it is upgradable. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time, Gaspar. We've enjoyed this experience. How long are we open here for? Um, Like I said, we have, I think we have over 1500 people sitting on the wait list. So um, the initial um, end date, I think is around like six or seven of this month, but we managed to extend it those three weeks. So we're editing a lot of night sessions. um, And also we even consider to open up this sort of cinema in other major cities like, you know, Melbourne and Brisbane. So hopefully we can deliver this experience to as many uh, Nebula fans as possible. Yeah. And in case that wait list isn't long enough, where do people go to find out, to look at where the pop-up stores might be? Uh, we're still deciding uh, between different locations. Uh, yeah, but stay tuned. We will have some latest information on the website for sure. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time, Gaspar. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Alan. Thanks for having me. Thanks, mate.
Well, we hoped you enjoyed this episode as much as Aiden enjoyed popcorn today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us at Home Tech Talk, and we'll see you in the next episode.